Hello, I am Marcus. When you connect a microphone to your XL2 to measure a sound pressure level, there is a very important correlation that injures accurate results. The XL2 must take the sensitivity of the microphone into account. To automate this correlation process, NTI audio microphones contain a built-in chip. The chip contains all relevant information about the microphone, which is in turn read by the XL2. As soon as an NTI audio microphone is attached to an XL2, the XL2 reads this data and knows which microphone is attached, namely type and serial number. The XL2 also reads the most important value from the microphone, the sensitivity. To indicate that this automatic correlation has taken place, the XL2 displays the letters ASD at the top of the screen. ASD stands for Automatic Sensor Detection. Thus, as long as the microphone is directly attached to the XL2, the sensitivity value of the microphone is known by the XL2. What do you do, however, when you need to use a cable between the microphone and the XL2? For example, at a concert or for outside environmental noise measurements. In this case, you may consider using a normal XRR cable to connect the microphone to the XL2. When you do that, you will see that while the audio signal is indicated on the XL2, the ASD data is not being read. The reason is that the ASD information is read over a wire that does not exist in a normal XLR cable. Therefore, an NTI microphone should always be connected to an XL2 using an ASD cable. From the outside, an ASD cable looks the same as an XLR cable. Inside, however, it has an extra communication wire that is used to transmit the ASD data. As you can see, when using an ASD cable, the microphone data reappears correctly. Now you know the difference between an XLR cable and an ASD cable with which the microphone type, serial number and sensitivity can be read directly from the microphone. If you have further questions about ASD cables, feel free to contact your NTI audio partner.